good morning everyone this is Matt Johnson <clears throat> first day back to work from vacation that's always fun nevertheless you know I do these morning videos I did a video yesterday about the power of being silent uh, but today I'm just gonna do a quick couple of minutes talking about uh, utilizing what you have uh, many times people have not you know sat down did a proper assessment a self-assessment personal evaluation you know dug in their thoughts and their feelings emotions life experiences to find out what skills what talents what abilities they have like in the book of Exodus uh, with Moses when God was sending him to deliver the Israelites from Egyptian bondage he just asked Moses one question he said what's in your hand and Moses had a rod in his hand but it was more than just a rod uh, the rod became a serpent then he told Moses take it by the tail and it became a rod again so on surface it looked like it was just a stick and that's how many of us look at our lives we uh God is asking us what what's in your hand what do you possess what's in your thought what's in your feelings what's in your emotions what skill sets do you have um, what abilities do you have but many of us have not sat down long enough to kind of ponder upon what it is that we can bring to the table uh, but I just want to encourage somebody that there's a certain void in this earth that only you can feel uh, and when you don't walk in purpose when you don't and, and the only way to walk in purpose is to first find out you know first you got to find out what that purpose is but the other part to that that's still at number one on that list is finding out what skills what talents what abilities you have uh, that's the other part of that uh, and oftentimes you know it may not be something dramatic it may not be something big and great uh, you know we often scared you know <laughs> of being the small person or making a small impact uh, but you know we have to just be call an ace of ace and a spade of spade as they say everybody is not going to be on the international level everybody's not going to be on the national level somebody have to reach house to house somebody have to reach people on the city level or the statewide level uh, but understand something you may not be impacting people on an international level uh, but it doesn't make you any less important impacting people uh, you know in a gymnasium of 25, you know, it doesn't make you any less important uh, We all have skills, you know, we all have a, a certain skill set uh, And certain abilities that God has blessed us with but we have to find out what it is and not compare it to another person uh, You know and going back to the whole thing with Moses. I ask you again. What's in your hand? What do you possess today? Won't you make it a point today? to go and dig in your thoughts like I said your life experiences kind of brainstorm do self-evaluation uh, a personal assessment or whatever you call it uh, they offer different types of things you know assessments and quizzes that you can take to kind of help sparks <clears throat> help spark some thoughts about what it is that you may be good at um, and one of the things I want to mention also is a scripture called, uh, uh, and not scripture called, but there's a scripture in a book of Matthew dealing with the parable of the talents. So what happened is, uh, one man had one talent, the other had three, and the other had five. Now, it, the Bible says each one was given those amount of talents based on what he could handle. So, you know, the man with the five talents and the three talents, they went and did something notable they 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 went and made more money because talents was synonymous with money that's what money was in the Bible but they went and made more money for their master and the master came back and rewarded them said you've been faithful over a few things I'm gonna make you ruler over many but the person that only had one talent didn't do anything with it he said because he was scared of his master and that he do he was so scared to mess up he didn't even try now is that you today so scared to even make an attempt that you just sit and do nothing and I think oftentimes we can even use some conjecture in that scripture many times people with the one talent because that's what they can handle they get so jealous of the people that has the three talents or the five talents that they don't utilize what they have don't let that be you today 
you may be the person with the one talent because that's what you can handle but does that mean you can't make an impact no you can make an impact but then again don't make your impact don't try to compare your impact that you're supposed to have with someone else's yes you want to admire international leaders famous speakers that speaking in front of millions you know have millions of followers on social media and youtube and you know traveling here and traveling there but you may be that person just going from house to house you may be that person that's going and speaking in front of gymnasiums of 25 and uh, 50 people you know things like that but does that once again make your impact any less no i ask you again what's in your hand sit down today make it a point to start today assess yourself dig deep see what you have to offer and it might be something you are scared of or trying to run away from because oftentimes the thing you're scared of the most is what God is going to use to bless you the most amen everyone have a blessed day and I ask you once again what's in your hand